subscribe my channel like and comment and hit the bell icon for further updates and for more informative videos thanks now let's dive in now we will click on share screen when we click on share screen we have whiteboard double click it it's a very important option now you can see this whiteboard here a uh, student cannot see the background stuff here like this left portion is showing here so you can write any text here you can draw any shape if you want uh, there are several shapes here which you can use uh, you can see here and this first one is a pencil tool so you want to write anything you can write it also you can use a tablet also there are a tablet with a stylus or with pen so you can use that uh, it will be really good to write on that it will be just like you writing on a piece of paper with a pencil or pen and then we have several stems we if you want to uh, if you have make a flow chart or anything and you want the students to follow the steps so you can make steps like this and then we have a spotlight uh, if you want to show certain part of the screen and want the student to focus on it then we have format if you want to change the color uh, and the width and we have the bold italic and the font so all these things you can use and then you can also move this annotating toolbar uh, from here you just keep the mouse and then you can move it anywhere you want in the screen wherever you think it's good uh, by default it's on the top uh, then we have few more options uh, for example if I want a student to write on my whiteboard but their name should be displayed so I know who is uh, writing anything on my board for example you are doing a project you are asking the student to highlight something so to do so you will go to top then click on more and then you will write show names of annotators so you see when someone uh, write, write something on it you can see here that the name is displayed so each time when the participant will be writing you can see the name is displayed here so this is one good option but if you want to completely disable the student from writing anything so just go to more and click on disable participant annotation so if you click this they will not be able to write anything uh, their pencil mark will be uh, removed from their main is click here to uh, clear your drawings there are few more options also like uh, for example you can stop recording uh, the screen you can pause it for a while for example if you are uh, recording a zoom meeting and you want to pause it for a while you can do it and then uh, there are there are few more options which you can try especially share computer sound for example if you want to play some background sound and then you want to use the whiteboard so you can do it also so these are the few options which are really uh, good you can use this whiteboard uh, it will enhance your uh, teaching or your meeting experience so make sure to use it now these were all the tips which i have given you now you can use wisely your screen you can refrain students from annotating from your presentation or your whiteboards you can allow them so their name is displayed that that is also an option which i have showed you one more option uh, for example if you uh, are browsing uh, and you are showing something to the students or your participant when you go here in address bar you can see uh, this pop-ups all always so sometimes it's difficult to write something here and this annoying pop-up is coming so you can also hide it if you, if you go to more and then there is an option hide floating meeting panel so just click here so now you can easily whatever you want to write you can write it here there will be no pop up and if you want to get it back just press escape from your keyboard and then you can get this back so this is how you can do it so that was all about share screen feature i have covered all the important features of the share screen i hope you understood it now i hope this video was really helpful for all of you thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for more informative video